What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I have an awesome video today showing you how to send PDF exports of your Power BI reports directly to your email inbox. I'm actually gonna show you two different ways to do this. One way is going to be via this button click here. So as the logged in user clicks this email button, it's gonna send a PDF or JPEG export of this entire report directly to their email. And I'm also going to show you how you can send it to other users, not just yourself. And you can also set that up via button click within the Power BI report. For our first example, if I click this button here, it's actually going to send me an email with the PDF contents of this report. And behind the scenes, what it's actually doing is it's calling a Power Automate or Microsoft Flow, and it's going to export that report and send it to me via email. So just to show you what the output is going to look like, let's hop on over to my inbox. And I have this nice email here. It basically says your Power BI export awaits. This is all customizable based on what we want to show here. And I have this export demo.pdf. If I open that up, here is my exported Power BI report. So that's exactly what I want. It's the full report, not just a one page subscription like the default Power BI subscriptions, but it is the full export. So let's go ahead and dive into how we can set this up. There are a couple of pieces, although it's not very hard. So the bulk of this method is actually done in Power Automate. So when we click this button, as you can see with the tooltip, it's actually calling a Power Automate flow uh, via a get URL. So I'm gonna come on over to Power Automate and show you the steps. It's actually very easy, only a few. Um, so this first one is when an HTTP request is received. So when we click that button, we need it to do something. The next step is to export to file for Power BI reports. This is a new action that was released by Power Automate back in September 2020, so just a month ago, and it allows us to export our reports to PDF, or PowerPoint or PNG directly from Power Automate. And then afterwards, we need to do something with that export. In this case, we're going to send it to our email. Just a quick heads up before we really get into this, this export to file for Power BI report step is only going to work if you have a dedicated capacity, meaning you have Power BI Premium or Power BI Embedded for the workspace that you're gonna call this for. This may not be as big of a deal as Microsoft releases premium per user, but we will see in the near future. But now that we know that, let's go ahead and dive into setting this up from scratch. So I'm gonna create a new uh, automated flow here. I will skip this here and bring us to our first page here. To get us started here, I just want to kick off this flow via a button press within Power Automate. So this is just going to allow us to start this very easily. Next thing, let's add a step and let's search for the Power BI actions. We see the export to file for Power BI reports, which is still in preview since it just came out and the export to file for paginated reports. We're gonna stick to the normal Power BI reports. So let's click on that it's gonna ask us for a few different pieces of information, such as which workspace are we going to be loading this from? Uh, I have this new workspace that's set up on embedded capacity uh, called export demo. My report, let's see, is also called export demo. So I'm saying uh, I want to export the report for the export demo file in the export demo workspace. And then we have the option to set the export format, such as PDF, PowerPoint, or PNG. I'll actually go ahead and change this one to PowerPoint for the demo. And then we have some other options, uh, such as bookmark name or bookmark state. It looks like bookmark name is not currently supported, so that'll be coming in the near future. Uh, we also have the option to apply row level security within this as well. I couldn't get this to work. I'm not sure if this is fully implemented as of yet, uh, but if the row level security will work in the near future, I will go ahead and update this video to work with data sets that use role of security. But for the purpose of this demo, this is everything that we need. So we just need to set which report that we are exporting and the export format. So once we're done with that, we just need one more step and we just need to send this to ourselves via email. We also have the option to place this somewhere. You know, we could place this in SharePoint or post this somewhere else, but sending it to email will be a nice test for us. So I'm gonna send an email notification V3 so at this point, I'm just going to type in my email, uh, but we will set this up dynamically from our Power BI report in a later step. Let's just send this to myself for now. I'm going to call this export demo file and then body. Uh, I don't need anything in the body really. So I'm just gonna say example body and then show advanced options. This is where we're going to attach our Power BI report export. So if we scroll down, we'll see attachment so I am going to go ahead and scroll down here. We'll see file content in the dynamic content. Go ahead and click on that. 
and then attachment file name. You need to make sure you have an attachment file name if you have an attachment. So I can call this whatever I want. I'm going to call this my export, or actually I'm gonna call this my report, export, and it's very important that you give it a file extension. So since this is a PowerPoint report, it'll be PPTX. If you're exporting a PDF, make sure you do .PDF. So with that, that is all we need. Let's go ahead and click save and let's minimize that. So now once we save this, let's go ahead and test it out. So you can say, I'll perform the trigger action. Let's test. And first time through, it's gonna ask you to sign into these things. I'm already signed in, so we're good. So let's go ahead and run our flow. So our flow is currently running. We can see that I've manually triggered the flow. Uh, it's currently in the process of exporting that report to a file. And then once it's done, it's going to send me that email. This takes about two minutes for each time that I run this flow. So let's go ahead and give that just a second. Looks like the flow ran successfully. Let me go ahead and check my email. Uh, export demo file. So this is our new PowerPoint report export. So let's go ahead and open that up. Just make sure it worked correctly. And there we go. We have our Power BI report export in PowerPoint format. So it's exactly what we want to happen. Now let's go ahead and change this first step so that we don't have to manually trigger it. Let's change it to use an HTTP request so that we can call it from our Power BI report specifically. So we'll do that by clicking edit. And I just need to delete this first step here. And instead of that step, I want to use the HTTP request step. When an HTTP request is received, let's go ahead and click on that. At this point, we need to click on show advanced options and let's change our method to use a git request instead of a post request. A uh, quick shout out to Ashley Boot who actually uh, let me know that you could switch this method. I was using post the entire time. I'm gonna link Ashley's Power BI blog down in the description. So now let's click save. And this is going to allow us to view our HTTP request uh, URL. So let's go ahead and copy our URL and paste it in a new browser. So this is the entire URL that's going to kick off our flow. So if we actually paste this URL, it's going to kick off our flow. But what we actually want to do is we want to add one little piece here that is going to allow us to know which email to send it to. So uh, without getting too in the weeds here, all we need to do is type in and, and let's write users. This is arbitrary, but I'm going to call this users equals, uh, and then let's type in parker at bielite.com. So this little extra bit of information is gonna tell us where to send that email to, but this will be dynamic from our Power BI report. So I'm gonna go ahead and click enter there. That is going to kick off our flow. So we can actually see this if we go ahead and go to my flows. Let me just go ahead and open this up. We will see that our flow is currently running. So it's running with that email uh, in that parameter there. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this while it's still running. And the last thing that we need to do here is instead of this to clause, instead of actually writing out my email, I want to use the little piece of information that we're passing into the URL at the very end. So we can do that by clicking on uh, the box and typing in expression. So from here, we can type in trigger outputs and we want to then open up brackets here and type in queries. Sorry, I spelled that wrong, queries. And then right after queries, we want to type in dot users. So this is basically saying grab the users at the end of that URL and throw them into the two. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and click OK. And everything else can be unchanged. But what's great is now when we call our URL with multiple people at the end, such as Parker at BI Elite, Ola at BI Elite, even another user at BI Elite, it's going to send emails to each one of those people. So with that, let me go ahead and click save. And let me go ahead and grab that URL one more time. So with that, I'm gonna come back over to Power BI Desktop, and I'm gonna show you how I set up this last piece in order to initiate this uh, flow call. So I've actually done that with this flow URL here. So firstly, this is just an image, just an image of a little mail icon. So with this flow URL, so let me go ahead and click on that, flow URL. This is just my Microsoft flow URL. Let me paste this in here uh, that we just set up. So right here, this is going to kick off our flow, but we want to add that same and users equals. 
And then you can see here, we are concatenating our user principal name. And just as a refresher, user principal name is going to return the email login that you're viewing within Power BI Service. For example, when I'm viewing my report in Power BI Service, my user principal name is parker at bile.com. If Ola were to open this up, her email would be ola at bile.com. So this report is always going to know who's looking at the report, and then it's going to send the email to that person based on this string here. And now our button is set up so that when a user clicks on it, it will send that email directly to the logged in user. So I'm probably not going to show off this functionality again since I've already done that. Let's just make sure that that email is still coming through. Yep, we're looking good. So one last thing, we've set this up dynamically so that the report will be sent to the user that is currently viewing the report, basically whoever clicks on the button. Uh, but I also wanna show you that you can send this to multiple people. So me as Parker, I can send this to other people as well. So I have that in another file here. So let's say that I know that I have a few users that I might wanna send this to. I can go ahead and select who I wanna send this to, and we can see in my flow URL, these users are appended here on the end, separated by a semicolon. For example, if I just click on myself, I see that and users equals parker at bile.com. Let me go ahead and add Ola, and we see parker, uh, and then semicolon Ola at bile.com, and then as a final one, test user at bile.com. So just in this way, we can just append users at the end and send that email. So let me go ahead and show you how I got this flow URL just to show you the entire solution here. So the only thing that I'm doing is I have a users table in those emails and I'm concatenating it with concatenate X and a semicolon and that is throwing it onto the end. So once I have that, I can actually click this button and it's going to send that uh, report to all three of those users. So I'm actually going to give that just a second and I will show you the final output. And here's my final output. I got my email and we see in the to section here, Parker, Ola, and test user BIELE.com. So I was able to send that email to everyone that I selected. Uh, so it's really nice in order to send to multiple users or just yourself as the logged in user. So I hope you like this trick. I had a lot of fun setting this up. It's also fun to use Power Automate in conjunction with Power BI. Using the entire Power Platform is a very fun process to set up. So if you like this video, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also check out our training over at training.bielite.com. We have some awesome courses on Power BI, DAX, and Alteryx. Make sure you check that out and I'll see you in the next video.